Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Covenant. We're playing more Civ 6. We declared war in the last episode on Egypt to get a free settler and a free builder. And so far, it's working out well for us. Um, I forgot to switch this up again, didn't I? Man, I have a bad freaking... I always forget about this. Although maintenance, I don't know. Would I actually change this? I probably would. I probably would change something. We'll have to see. We're fine for now. 100% production towards defensive buildings. Oof, that'd be great on walls and everything like that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at real quick, will you peace out with me yet? No, we can't peace out yet. Because really, I kind of accomplished what I wanted to, and we've killed a few of her units between me and Jerusalem. So I kind of feel like she may be a little more willing to peace out here sooner rather than later. So I think we're good. Uh, my apostle, unfortunately, they don't have anyone near me. We're at full HP now, so let's kind of seek out the enemy a little bit. If... Where are their holy sites? They do have a holy site. If I could flick, flip Rock Cadet, which would be definitely not easy, but if I could, man, they wouldn't be able to produce... Yeah, man, they have holy sites everywhere. God, it's like almost like the AI knows. Oh, here's the thing. I don't need to convert this one because I'm going to build an encampment here and then that's going to immediately convert it to mine. So I really need to focus on Rock Cadet. And really what I need to look for, like if I could like flip both of these at the same time, God, life would be great. The other thing is I need to build an encampment down here. We'll have one turn. We'll have the holy site done and we could start working on that. Really, I'm just building the holy site uh, for the extra uh, of faith as much as anything. Uh, the other thing is, too, we could buy this tile and then build an encampment right here. Maybe not a bad idea. Uh, what were we looking at? Faith. We are almost... Ah, we can actually get an impossible. Do we wait for five turns and then get it up here? Honestly, I kind of think we do. I don't know how many, how, cause it's gonna spawn here and it's gonna take like five turns to get up there anyways. So I think we just hold off and wait. So you fortify up, uh, you, I don't actually want to get into the city. <laughs> I don't want to be by their walls. I kind of wish they would, you know, look at attacking and then I'll just move in with my units and take it. But you know, I doubt the AI is gonna be that kind. Ooh, there are horses here and then I could build horsemen. Maybe I want to purchase these two tiles. 100 and then what, like 150? Not going to be able to afford it. It's going to take a little bit of time. But that might not be a bad idea. But we are about to grow. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Language. <laughs> uh, can we finish him off? We can. He's not going to be able to kill me. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, And we may be dead. I may have to reload that. I, I may cheese the crap out of that and reload it. We are playing a higher difficulty, so screw the AI. Oh, we can actually upgrade you. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we can actually upgrade. That's awesome. That's good to know. Uh, I don't see the AI down here at all, so let's go send our settler down this way. You, we finished. Um, so I need an encampment. That's what we're looking for. Oh, I can't build the encampment anywhere here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we actually probably want to build the encampment in this direction to flip Yurik. But for now, that's not going to help me. So instead, let's look at getting... Another archer? An archer would allow me just to straight attack their chariot archer. Man, there are forests in between. Maybe not. Maybe spearmen. Having one melee unit might not be bad either. Okay, so they are actually in range of the walls. I'm afraid my archers straight die. I'm afraid if I put my archer there, they'll just be straight dead. So, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Uh, let's go put you here for now, and I am going to put you for the horses when you're done. Uh, you are going to keep healing. And let's see if my apostle dies. No, they didn't attack him. Oh, <gasps> Thank you, AI. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and bring you back. Bring you home, get you healing. 
So as long as it's adjacent to the holy site, they should heal. They're supposed to heal. Uh, they're currently not attacking the city, even though they are right next to the city, which seems a little on the weird side. I'm gonna shoot the walls. What? What? Why? Why can't I range attack? Huh? That's a little weird. So I can't shoot over a river? That doesn't make sense. These aren't a hill. Like, this isn't a hill, right? It's a river. It's grassland. Oh, it is a hill. How's that a hill? Whatever. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll move you over here. I wouldn't mind taking a couple pot shots at their city, just for the heck of it. The other thing, too, is that may make her a little worried and more likely to peace out on me. I'm just kind of hoping they don't straight murder my archer, because that is definitely a possibility. You only have one build left, so I'm going to sleep you until we can get the horses. Uh, and we'll purchase the next tile after you finish growing in six turns. Uh, Mr. Swordsman, let's actually start bringing you towards them once again. Trying to make them a little on the worried side, and we'll go back to automated exploration. You are a swordsman who needs a lot of HP. They actually moved away the chariot archer. Okay. Bring you down here. And everyone's everything's going pretty good for the What your archer's city center, 55 damage. Okay. Alrighty. Noted, noted, noted. So mercenaries has advanced. In a craft we got apprenticeship. We got defensive tactics. Sweet. Uh, and they brought my chariot archer right to my freaking walls. Unfortunately, I just put myself in a position in which I could get attacked. So I'm actually going to move him right here and kind of hope that they attack my... Honestly, what I'm hoping for is that they will actually attack my swordsman. Um, this scares me a little bit. Not going to lie. We are one turn away from finishing the shrine. So I think what I need to do is put my worker here and put my apostle in the city. Just to protect him. The next turn, we'll have two Apostles out, and we're going to be able to do pretty decent damage. He's not going to be able to move his Inquisitor into my land, so we'll be safe there. You are far enough away now. Um, crap, I kind of moved my guys in the wrong direction. We're fine. Uh, we do need to switch off our stuff, uh, so let's go do this. Let's choose a Civic and Alliance. I think what we want to go is go hard for Reform Church. So that's going to be five turns. And I would like to switch up my governments. So we want, plus two is great, plus two gold from trade routes. We have one trade route, that's kind of crappy. Yeah, these are all pretty bad. Plus one housing, plus 30% adjacency bonus for holy sites, okay. Give us more um, faith. And then, I'm assuming this is what this does, I actually don't really know. And then I think we wanna go towards encampment districts and buildings for that. Campus, housing, settlers, production, general, scientist, writer. I think we want to go with this. So we're at 50 faith a turn. 57. So yeah, okay. That's what we wanted to see. We ended up finishing a chariot. Good, 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 good. And now what we want to do, I would like to purchase 155. I need 106 more. Crap. I would like to build an encampment right now here like right here so then we can flip his religion but we need oh god it's gonna take a while for that to happen too so then maybe we want to throw it on commercial districts but I don't want to waste all my yeah I don't want to build more units either because units are going to I guess we'll just do a granary I don't want to purchase more units because it's gonna reduce how much gold I'm making per turn because we're actually not making that much gold, which is kind of depressing. Uh, so keep going down this way. We look safe. Samaria's over here.
Do I want to take my swordsman out this direction? I think I want to keep healing him just for another turn or two. And let's sit next and see what happens. Uh, whatever. Fortify. They want a jade for open borders and a lot of freaking gold. <laughs> wow. I actually need the gold per turn, so I'm totally going to accept this. I almost maybe should have spent them. Wow, that hurt. Uh, I almost maybe should have spent the, the, the money or like maybe forced them to give me like 100 gold so I'd be a little bit closer. But uh, he's actually, that was probably the worst thing he could do because I'm going to be able to archer him twice and then whack him with my swordsman pretty easily. Yeah, I'm just going to finish him off. Goodbye. Mm. Feel that pain and that burn. Okay, so we are good here now to purchase another apostle. I think we want to go attack this guy. How? Just because of plus five combat strength from Theocracy. That is ridiculous. I am sorry. Wow. So then part of me is like, maybe I need to evangelize my belief so we can maybe get like... What does this guy do? Man, nah, see, I need to use the spreads. What was his thing? Religious spread is triple strength in cities of other civilizations. So, yeah, I I, I have to keep using him. I need to at least uh, waste his spreads before I go and evangelize my beliefs. Now, we're not damaged, so we're going to be able to do decent damage to him. So that's going to be good. Um, Poland. Poland. My archer, I need you to fortify. We very much want to go ahead and build an industrial, not an industrial zone, an encampment right there. And that's going to flip and religious bomb the crap out of them. Oh, I'm excited for that. You are going to stay here for now. We still, man, we need a lot of gold. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring you towards Thebes just for the heck of it. Once again, make peace. She doesn't want peace. All right. If I can actually get something like a lot of gold out of her for this piece because we killed a bunch of her units, I would feel great about that. She wants peace. Speaking of a lot of gold, she's going to give me 44 gold. She's going to give me six gold per turn, and she's going to give me jade and gypsum. Instead of jade, can I take marble? Zero. Just remove. She will give me her marble. <gasps> Ooh, we give me two? No. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, how's it feel to get your butt kicked? Uh. All right, and his Inquisitor attacked me and is going to die a brutal death. Um, I think I'm gonna use you, actually. I didn't actually want to end up right there, but that's fine. Uh, and we're definitely damaging Buddhism over here, which is great. Okay, so we don't have to worry about our units getting killed anymore. Uh, I want to promote you. How do I want to promote you? Gain 100 gold if this unit converts a city to your religion the first time. Plus 20 religious combat strength in theological combat. Oh my god, yes. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. That is what I needed. All right, let's do some work, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. So, like, look at that. Look at... Oh, my gosh, yes. So, I need to get theology. I really need to get to that theology one. So, swordsman, don't matter. I think I did make her a little nervous. I think that had to have happened. It definitely looked that way. So, we're building the encampment there. I'm at 145. So next turn, I'll have enough to purchase this and build the encampment there. So, yeah, exactly what we need. And that's going to convert that city. That's going to convert that city. So now, we need to be looking at missionaries, but I think I'm just going to keep doing apostles. Apostles are just too great. And just start, like, basically spamming out as many apostles and just working them hardcore. Okay. Candy made peace. I don't care about any of these pieces. How long have we been going? 14 minutes. We're good. 
I got a missionary, I don't care. We need housing, I don't care. You are going to heal up. You are going to fortify. You are going to skip turn. You are going to fortify until healed. Next turn. Let's try getting a little bit of speed on this. I know I keep saying that. Let's actually try doing it. <laughs> There's too much to think about. Okay. Hello. My name's Brian, and I'm going to be your death. So if I can move you there, and uh, wow, that's actually gonna murder me. I think, yeah, he has the plus 22. Is this smart? Is this safe? I'm still in my lane, so I think we're good. Then we're gonna put you back in my land and get you to fortify. And we're probably gonna have to move him back to my city. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill me. Um, this guy's pretty weak. And then two attacks might put me pretty low, but I think we'll still be okay. Uh, what do we need now? Where are we at? Where are we looking at? Uh, Karakow. Karakow. Still haven't figured out how to say it. Whatever. Uh, we were going to... Actually, no, no, we don't need to do it that way. Let's go encampment. Let us purchase... Why can't I purchase this one? Huh? What? Oh, because I can't build it there. Eh, yeah, interesting. Well, that was good to know. I would have wasted a lot of money. So, let's actually just put it here, then. Sounds good. Yes, build encampment. And when that is done in 10 turns, we're gonna bomb you. When you are done in 11 turns, you're gonna bomb you. Perfect. You are still just gonna chill. I guess just go to sleep for now. And swordsman fortify. And archer, I'm gonna put right here just for the heck of it. Just so we get good view. And let's actually block their inquisitor. Don't kill me, please don't kill me. He actually didn't kill me. He moved in such a way that it seemed like a bad idea. So we get four movement. Ah, oh, unfortunately that didn't do crap. Uh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Is this guy gonna live? Surely. Can I actually move my scout right here? No. Because unfortunately, he's gonna be able to attack my guy from three directions, which could be really, really bad for me. So I'm gonna put you here. Once again, because we're just trying to block his Inquisitor from landing. I'm going to put you over here. Uh, then you need to build a shrine. Are we just going to go for straight faith? Oh, yeah. We can encampment over here, too. For religious bombing. And you're going to fortify. You're going to fortify. You are going to fortify. Next turn. Don't kill my dude. Don't kill my dude. All right, I probably should have seen that. Declare a surprise war against me. I probably should have seen that coming based on how, how many units he has right on my border. Create with the heart. Um, all right, this kind of sucks, guys. We're a bit out of position. Oh, I think we're gonna lose Lods. Like, I don't think there's any way we can save Lods. Man, that's so crap. I love how he like, ugh. There's like nothing I can do right now. And because of like the state of my freaking units, like I have one archer down here. Can I purchase? I don't have enough money to purchase a unit to put in here. He really caught me in a really bad spot.
So I guess we're gonna put you there. Put you there. We'll put you here and just get my guys at least closer. And then I need to move all my units down. Like, please, run. Oh, well, you get out of the way. <laughs> uh, God, that's frustrating. Okay, so, back to you guys. I can do really good damage here. And then finish you off with this guy. And we have enough faith now to actually maybe purchase another one? No, we're one turn away. And so we're good here. Let us go for machinery. Get some crossbows. That would be really nice. Um, my trader. Hopefully you're going to go in a different direction. We do also have Leventia right here, though. Like, he is surrounded by both my guys. So we need to take Luds back from him because he's going to take Luds from me. There's almost no way that that doesn't happen. And let's go ahead and settle here. Sure. Redom. And... Give me a builder, I guess. You should really start paying attention. There are many games being played. On many levels. Sounds like a little Game of Thronesy. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, actually that didn't suck that bad. So we could move here and be pretty safe. We need to go here. What is this work heart? 32 strength. Is it ranged? Like what is, what's the war cart? War cart. It is upgrades to a knight. So I'm a little confused at how I take more damage. Huh. The only reason I think I get more I don't know. That's a good question. I think we're just still gonna beat him. We're still gonna try. And I don't want to go attack you, that's for sure. So, my chariot is kind of wasted right now. Let's get you guys down here soon, please. We're just so far away. Oh. Yeah, and I need you guys just to like heal, please. And heal. Oh, I have an archer over here. Unfortunately, they have freaking walls everywhere, which is so annoying. Can I build a unit real quick? Can Archer in seven turns a scout in four? Ugh. Spearman? I think an Archer if I can get one. All right, as for uh, bonuses, let's go to Leventia, because I would like to actually get to another plus two faith. And we can now purchase another Apostle. Let's not forget that. Purchase Apostle. Boom. We're not going to be able to upgrade them until next turn, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. <sighs> See, the problem is all I can do is attack their 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 uh, 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 pikemen, and that would be a bad idea. Oh my god, he's a fucking pikeman. Oh, god, we're so freaking behind the eight ball. Yeah, we got to wrap this episode up here, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, go ahead, comment, let me know what you guys think, and as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game coming, share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye!